Hello, hello everyone, and welcome in today's stream. For those of you guys who are new, hi, my name is Kit. I'm a variety VTuber here on Twitch and YouTube, and today we are playing Mineka's Night Market. Before I start endlessly talking, if you like my vibes from this stream, past streams, future streams, or I don't know, wherever you may have found me, I'd appreciate if you could drop a like if you're on YouTube and a follow so we can get to our new goal of 250 followers on YouTube. And if you're on Twitch, hi, welcome in. I would very much appreciate if you can help me reach my long, long standing goal of trying to reach 60 followers on Twitch. As usual, I will do the random, I don't know, random talking until I really get everything together. Um, for those of you guys who may have been on stream yesterday, especially if you were on, um, hey V-Wolf, welcome in. Especially if you were on uh, YouTube, I do apologize for some reason. I cannot see YouTube's chat and I was not able to figure that out today. Um, so I may have to... Um, <laughs> I may have to get a little creative and try to um, try to figure out what the heck is going on um, because I actually do not know what it is. But um, I will probably have my fiance, if anything, get me my iPad. That way I can log on to uh, YouTube and see the chat through there because if I try doing um, both of the time, I can't yeah, see. So I can see everything on at least Streamlabs. But um, through my multi-stream chat, I could not see anyone. So I I do apologize for that yesterday. And hey, Dishpool, welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, did I did I update? Okay, yeah, I did update this. Let me update um that. Oh oh, YouTube's working right now. But just in case, I will have I will have my iPad right next to me just in case I actually cannot see YouTube anymore. But hey, Anna, welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday or Monday wherever you are. Hey V, welcome in. Guys, give me two seconds. I am trying to update everything because um. Uh, my my stream labs doesn't do that but like i said uh yesterday um keep an eye out because i will be starting a new goal i did finally figure out how much um stream labs premium is and oh my gosh this is why i didn't pay for it in the first place but i will be starting maybe like a new donation goal there's no like there's no goal date it's just kind of like a if we make it we make it that way youtube can no longer suffer of the third view that i have and they can be like Twitch and has a full view of the game. I found out how much it was and oh my gosh guys, it's like $150 for a whole year and I'm like, oh. But hello everyone, welcome in. Hi Javen, welcome in. Hi V. Um, how much subs do you have? So on YouTube, I now have 206. So we are trying to reach 250. On Twitch, I have 56 I think so we are four away. If any of you guys want to be so oh so generous and you know, um, Follow me both on Twitch and YouTube. I'd very much appreciate that way we can um that way we can hit our long standing goal on Twitch. But yeah. Um let me go ahead and see. I need to update everything. Oh gosh, that scared me. Um so yeah, manage goals. That way I can see the follower goal instead of the sub goal, because that's the main goal. Um bum bum ba -da -dum. Um Hey Trivi, welcome in. Um and hi Brandy, hi Chrissy, hi V welcome in so yeah as you can see we are four people away from hitting our goal on twitch so if any of you guys on youtube one want the full the full view of the game and just want to be an amazing person and have a twitch account already i'd very much appreciate it if you could drop a follow in there <laughs> hey ray welcome into but yeah guys um if at any point i cannot see uh youtube chat i i am trying to oh <laughs> i was i was gonna i was gonna view on my my ipad but that's a no go it's at five percent so again if that happens like it did the other day let me know and I, I will definitely try to fix this as soon as i can um i hope you reach one one mil that is the goal that's the goal for everything isn't it so let's go ahead and get into mineko's night market you guys will probably see the little the little version of me first um there we go bam i honestly don't remember where i was on this game i never do because let's be honest i've been getting very into stardew valley to where um i've been wanting to stream it more than mineko but like don't get me wrong i do like mineko like a lot 
I just, uh, <laughs> I have my priorities, let's be honest. I, I love it. So look at us, we are here. Ooh, I actually have a lot of money. Uh, he's really clingy. Do you have advice for, cause that way he won't be really clingy. Um, I would say just, just tell him he needs some space and that's, that's about it. If he doesn't listen, that's, um, that's, that's a red flag there. Cause I mean, yeah, it's, it's good that you want to spend time with people, but we all need our space. So let's go ahead today. I, you beat Stardew Valley. Wow. Um, did you like make i guess is there technically end content in stardew valley oh my gosh ah, my keyboard is is freaking out here like is there actually end content in um oh i got it yes i think i remember i i remember i remember doing that one kitten cotton candy i need a pug box mold. i i i have been getting pug box molds and i do have a pug box mold but am i gonna give it to you Maybe. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do with, like, the pug box. Well, I don't have any, like, sentimental value to what I have. Um, me too, that'd be my sister here. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hello. I'm going to say hi to everyone who's in here. Beehive terrarium, I do still do not have. I, I just want to make the beehive terrarium. I still am kind of jealous of her house. One, because it has a balcony. Guys, I, I just want... A balcony let's be honest um I, li I say it like i don't have one i need a clean mine because it's kind of dusty um mm, yeah we'll buy a magic toe bean for that but i say that like i don't have it i do have balcony it's just kind of dusty and i do need to like i need to scrub it outside but you pick a day where like i'm off and it's very sunny and that way you know everything dries up so quickly but uh <laughs> I okay I'm not gonna lie my my dream house is to one I have like really big goals on my dream house and thank you V for subscribing on YouTube I really do appreciate it like I said if you're on YouTube I'd appreciate it if you can drop a like and a follow we are trying to reach 250 and if you are on Twitch hello I'm trying to reach um, 60 whole followers on that but like I was gonna go off on my um, on my whole tangent yeah we'll retrieve my items oh no i didn't want all of those um let's see i want my dream house to have a wraparound porch one b2 story that way i can like af out of the master bedroom i can just you know go out and just like lie on the balcony and have have it there but obviously like facing towards the towards the rear because like it's i think it's kind of weird to have a a balcony like outside so you can look at your front nah i want the the master bedroom lead out like to the balcony in the rear i also want a lot of land which is very like it's very contradictory for myself because i'm just like i i have so many dreams of where i want to live one obviously being japan i want to live in the countryside and technically yeah i can do that and be like hey let me let me just buy a countryside like house in japan tear it down build a new one and you know like have all that fun right I mean, it's probably going to be cheaper. The most expensive part is just getting rid of all the, the br debris. But, you know, actually, no, cross that. I think I might do that. I think that's, like, the best of both worlds for me. <laughs> but I also do want, like, a lot of land. And I want goats. And I want I want cows. I want, I want donkeys. And, like, all the cute animals. I just want everything. Um, hi, David. Welcome in. Do you play Roblox? No. I am sorry for any of you guys who are Roblox flan... Ugh lands who are roblox fans because roblox never has captured my interest same with minecraft um before anyone asked if i do fortnite no i don't do fortnite i don't do any shooter games because it will late uh, i can't it will raise my stress level so much because i do not know what to do i will be screaming half the time and freaking out so yeah um she has been watching your videos for a very long time, so if you don't mind, you want to say hi. Hi, Emma. Welcome to the stream, and I'm glad you've been watching for a while. And hi, Eliza. Welcome in. Every time I see a couple, I get sad. Don't get sad about that. Honestly, I, like, I have my fiancé, but there are times where <laughs> it's better to be alone, and, like, I... I adore him dearly, right? He buys me boba and he buys me sushi, especially on days I absolutely need it. Where is that pug girl? 
Excuse me, ma'am, I got you a boximal pug and you have the audacity to disappear on me? <laughs> okay, anyway, so like I said, but there are times where I just want to go out on my own and just, um, just do whatever because I, like, especially going to, like, cafes and coffee shops, I do that way too often. Okay, I can sell those then. I used to go to that often. I don't anymore, and I should start doing that because that's how I was, like, kind of productive on my own and I need to do that is because whenever I stay home my computer and my PlayStation are here so it's kind of I'm, I'm actually gonna run around looking for that uh, box mold girl like it's very easy for me to get distracted because my computer is here my PlayStation's here and like especially if my fiance is working from home that's like a oh that is it is gonna be a struggle to focus because I just want to interact I definitely will try to talk to you um, and so I will actually just like, I used to go to like coffee shops, do my work, be on my own. That way it could be extra super duper productive. And now um, I don't do that anymore. One, cause I buy coffee all the time before I go to work. Is she just like non-existent anymore? Ma'am, where are you? I have it here for you. Um, but craft, I need to know how to do freaking dyes. Anyone know how to make dyes on Mineko, please? Please let me know. I am struggling here. I don't think there's anything else here. No, there isn't. But yeah, I love going to coffee shops. And I used to like bounce around. And um, I need to start doing that. There's one near my apartment that I absolutely love. But the only problem is, so do a lot of people. Like, a lot of people like it. And so it gets very packed and very busy sometimes. So I'm like, eee. Um, it gets a bit difficult to find a place to sit. And that's the unfortunate part. Because I definitely would love, 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 love. To go sit there for hours and i have especially whenever like i i actually want to like be productive and study japanese and like um get ahead honestly that's where i used to go and there's another one but there's so many people like i'm very social right but whenever i want to be my, by myself i will not go up to people and be like hi how are you and there's one coffee shop that is like 10 minutes from my apartment that i do like going i like their coffee and like they're busy but you can still find a place to sit but the only problem is they have like people that go up to you because i guess like a lot of like youth or not youth but like young adult college people meet there for for their like bible studies and i have no problem with that it's just um it's just that they keep going up and they're like oh my gosh yeah uh let's see for liking so I, I have something to tell you. I'm getting bullied at school for liking anime. And do you have advice for me to actually appreciate watching anime? Because I've been watching anime for a long time. Honestly, my advice is probably going to sound very, very dumb. But just ignore them. That's the best advice because uh, I used to hide, especially when I was, whenever I was in like high school and stuff, I used to hide the fact that I watched anime because you know it would definitely be looked as like being weird it's too much effort it's really too much effort to hide that part of me where i'm just like oh like i have to be like kind of pretend like i'm into whatever like then like pop here like movies and actors and like i would try to like brush up on the super popular ones it's i'm gonna tell you it's a lot of effort just it's very hard and i i definitely know that just ignore them continue doing you because i will guarantee you by the time you get like in high school or college you'll find a whole crap ton of people that like anime honestly watching anime is kind of cool now because there are definitely a handful of people that i know that used to make fun of people for liking anime that watch it now so it'll, it'll all come around they they will end up they will end up going into the deep end and becoming becoming weebs like me but honestly i say do not care about them just keep vibing to you and that's honestly the best the best advice i can give you because it is um it's just too much effort too much effort to try to please people so yeah um Say if they bully you, they like you technically. Yes, they are giving you their undivided attention. But it just, honestly, it, bullies just have stuff going on in their own little world that they do not know how to get out. But I'm assuming, like, Vig, you're probably, 
I don't know, I want to say maybe like middle school or, <gasps> ooh, have I gotten a catfish before? I think I have. If you're in like middle school or high school, honestly, it's not worth it. It's like that the high schoolers that go to my clinic um, whenever they have to do their hours and stuff, one of them is like, uh, one of them's getting like all stressed and annoyed that, that two of them are leaving legit, like leaving 10, five minutes early and she's like, oh, it's just not fair. Like, we're not supposed to leave early. Like, they, they shouldn't be doing this. Like, I'm annoyed. They, they keep doing this and that. And, like, she's like, I don't know what to do. And I, I really just had to tell her and be like, look, all I'm going to say is in three years, you're not going to care about this interaction. So keep on moving. Uh, can you give me advice on what girls like? Um... Honestly, if you guys are going to ask me for advice, I'm probably one of the worst people to do because uh, <laughs> I don't even have my life together. But what girls like, um, I don't know. It depends on the girl. If, if you're going to ask me, obviously, I am a girl. I say that like you can see me. Yes, I'm a real life girl behind a, an anime cat girl. Actually, no, I'm, I'm just an anime cat girl through and through in real life too. So if you guys ever see me in Texas and you're like, whoa, what is this anime character doing IRL? It's me. Anyway, I would just go off of me. They like sushi, boba, and I don't know, cute like plushies. I have a lot of them. I'm 25. I should not have this many plushies, but I don't care. I like them. I like making them, and that is the problem, too. Okay, so we have some stuff to sell. I can definitely sell this for sure. Um, let's keep on selling all the fish because I don't know if I have, like, endless storage or not. I'm going to have this dock song in my head all day. Um, that's really cute, V. That's honestly the cutest thing to say. Oh my gosh, can I, can my fingers work? I am actually kind of, kind of like all over the place right now. But, so we're going to sell all of this. I'm going to keep one catfish because I do not know if I have that in the museum. And I probably should have checked to make sure I donated like all the food and stuff. Um, before I just started eating it, but luckily I, knowing me, I bought two of everything on the food if I did not have it. Oh, no, we're going back here. We're selling this because I knew I was going to want to eat one and not. So we are going to see if we have the, the crab legs in there. We're going to sell one catfish and then we're going to sell one more catfish. Then we're going to go back into town, find that pug. Oh my gosh, I hit my elbow. Find that pug box mill girl and be like, hey, ma'am. I have your gift, where the heck are you? Because I got it specifically for her and she left. So we'll do all this. Um, I don't know why they're there. Do they actually come there? I don't know. So we'll go here, we'll return home. I'm gonna go to the museums before I accidentally sell stuff because I definitely will. We have this guy, oh, what's his name? Is his name Ben? Yes, it is. So, oh my gosh. I still can't believe that once you get like the full hearts with him, he's gonna ask you for a freaking game sta like game station for a freaking like game console. Like, sir, do I look rich? It's not. I mean, yes, I have like two thousand in hiding in my in my freaking inventory right now. But do I look rich? No, cult. I'm sorry, I do not say that. That forbidden phrase for free. I never will and never have. <laughs> That costs good money because I know I do not have a cutesy enough voice for that for that phrase. You have to have a certain type of voice, a t certain type of personality, and I do not check either of those boxes to say that that phrase. So yeah, um, I oh I did I already did so um, no I I already know I don't have anything to donate here. Do I? We already have that donated. Sparkly rock. We have that. We have this rock already. Um, we're going to do this. We're just going to blast through everything because I really can't. <gasps> oh, I did not do that. Has anyone ever asked you to say that? Yes. Um, I have been asked to say that so many times. More times than I can count. And it's the same as people asking me to sing. No, I will put ridiculous sta standards. That way... Um, 
Oh, I already donated it. So cool. I will put ridiculous standards in order to avoid it. So, yeah. It will cost $20 million for her to say it. That's about accurate, honestly. Um, there is only one time on stream, and I think it's... Um, I think it's on Instagram that I have it, but I said it super sarcastically because I definitely, I don't know what tangent I was going off of, but there is a reel on Instagram if you want to. <laughs> Click the links in my bio and see my very dead Instagram at the moment. I will be active in a few weeks once I'm done. Once I am done with my English class, it will be very active, but if you want to click the links, follow <laughs> and look for that video i went on a full tangent and said it very sarcastically because i was like yeah i bet your singing is good i i've been over this i think it is a, a nationwide weapon uh, my singing is only good because i did not think of this um they told me in my discord that it's only good if i think of it as a weapon because technically it can bring world peace just not in the way you'd be expecting um i would be called to <gasps> Oh, I meant to buy more of those because I needed to give that to Lily. Um, but, oh, hi, Stephanie. Um, welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day. And V, I already did read your comment. Um, and I did make, already respond to it a while ago. Um, but even, either way, I know I will not be able to read everyone's comments. So if I did do miss yours eventually, please. Um, it's no big deal. Just kind of kind of move on because I will go on very a lot of tangents and it will be it will be a hot mess if I keep going back. But hey, Stephanie, how are you doing today? Um, I hope you're having a lovely Sunday, Monday. I don't know what days there are because I will say I'll say have a lovely whatever. And then I uh, I will like realize people are not in the same time zone as me silly me for forgetting that people not everyone lives in texas like in my mind yes that's the only that's the only state that someone can live in besides maybe like california because i i know like a, a ungodly <laughs> ungodly amount of people live in california i'm not gonna lie every time i see um, videos about like California's traffic and stuff and their highways I want to cry will I ever need to drive over there no I hope not but I do want to eventually visit at least Disneyland and so I'm like ooh, maybe I can uber there because will I want to drive no I will not want to drive like I said every time I see like videos of California traffic it is ooh, worst nightmare that is actually nightmare fuel for me um so let's see. Let hold on. I need to focus before this bobber goes down and I miss it. Cause I will, I will, st I will talk and forget. Okay, it's a freaking urchin. Um, I'm not sure which one. Um, if you want the, you can retype it and I could try to try to read it and catch it, but. Um, are you on reality? So yes, here, here's Jeffy. Welcome in. Um, yes, technically I am, but technically I don't stream on reality. I just kind of, I, I honestly should be sponsored by reality. The amount of people, like people I tell about their app is like ridiculous. Reality, sponsor me, please. I have, I have ideas that will make your app a lot more popular than it already is, but Yes, technically I do use reality, but let's be honest, I'm a free spokes girl for the app because um, I just kind of, I kind of display the avatars that you can make on there and the outfits that they do have on their gotchas every single stream because there's, there's very rarely times where I have the same outfit on because they just keep updating their gotchas and I love it. And I have my special ways of, of showcasing them, but Yes, I, I do have it. I do not stream on reality anymore. I have not for a good year already. So, so yeah. Um, I'm going to look for a cute plush. Ooh, what kind of plush? V, let me know. Um, and thank you. Thank you, fan. Um, I appreciate the kind words, and I hope you're having a, a good day. Um, 
yeah what game is this so cold this game is called Mineko's Night Market if any of you guys kind of like a cozy game which is basically anything that's not a shooter not not technically an RPG adventure type this is kind of cozy game um, where you're just relaxed zoned out chill vibes all the time and um, I don't even know I was gonna go somewhere oh so basically you're just trying to restore this town little by little get popularity so people can visit it and then also save a big giant cat and return it to its home up in the mountains I cannot make this up um, this game does have a lot of sarcastic humor which I I actually love um, just because it, it does not take itself seriously and that's the that's the part I appreciate so we have this uh, <laughs> Donated a hundred thousand dollars. Thank you. Thank you so much for for the hundred thousand dollars. I can do that one. I I did read the the Ray one already. V. Uh, can you do a face reveal? Not anytime soon. I already said. I I tell you guys the stuff I do not really want to do. Like, I will never directly say no to it, but I will put ridiculous uh, requirements for it. I already said for face reveal, it will be a thousand on YouTube and a thousand on Twitch, and that will get you uh, a nose. <laughs> that will get you a, a peak of my nose, and then that's as close as you're getting to a face reveal. Um, I have joked around that my um, my IRL content that I would that I may or may not post on Instagram would just be. Um, would just be like my like me going out into the world but my giant vtuber head plastered onto plastered onto my face give me two seconds to drink water look at me i'm growing i'm actually staying hydrated on my own but it's mostly because i can feel i can actually feel my throat gonna attack me right now Okay, but wait, that sounds hilarious. What sounds hilarious? <laughs> oh, wait, me posting my giant VTuber head on my body. I've been very tempted. And, like, that's how I wanted, like, I joked around saying I was going to reveal my fiancé as to people. Where it was just going to be like, hey guys, my fiancé is not make-believe. He's actually real. And then slap his VTuber head on his picture. Because, like I said, uh, hey hey Gabriel welcome in I hope I said that right um, but like I said I he's real guys he really is but <laughs> I, it makes it sound fake when I say that but I wanted to um, wait was it was it you that wanted it no you wanted the beehive terrarium but that's how I said I was gonna reveal him to to everyone and he was he was somewhat okay with that because he knows I'm never going to do it because he knows I've been very inconsistent with posting, but yeah. Um, and she's not doing well. She broke up with her boyfriend because her ex cheated on her and she's still not happy. She needs help. Um, I, there, there's nothing I can do about that, B. She just needs time and probably just, uh, you could take her out if you have a bit of money. Take her out, buy her a treat, help her feel happy. Um, that is my, that's the best I can say for that. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Colt, not, not even feet. I'm sorry, my guy, but no, no anatomical body parts that aren't shown here. Um, you, you get this and that's about it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let me see. Where is, no, seriously, where is that box girl? Like, did she just like straight up disappear? Am I, am I going crazy? Did she even exist in this game? Oh my gosh, where, where is it? There's Bobo. Hello, Bobo. Look at your little soulless eyes. This, honestly, I don't know why, but this guy here, every time I look at him, I just feel sad. I, there's no explanation behind it, like no rhyme or reason. I just feel sad whenever I look at him. I'm just like, oh, you poor old guy wearing your fighter plane hat that you probably wore in the war. Like, look at you. I, I don't know. Hey, Gamer Eric. Thank you, but please do not spam. I really would hate if I have to actually open up my browser, go into YouTube, and put you in a timeout. Um because I, one, am lazy, and two, it's a lot of work for me to do, but if it's necessary, I will actually do it. 
so yeah hi mandy louise welcome in um i hope you're having a lovely day i don't know what i should do should i go to the gardens or should i go to the birch forest at this point i'm just kind of like walking around because i there is no really set there like uh there's no set um what is it goal i do have one goal but i don't have enough like dye to make that so yeah hey ted welcome in i hope you're having a lovely sunday or monday depending on where you're at in the world so yeah um let's see i decided to sit in the bath to seize my stomach it's nice to soak in a bath every once in a while honestly trivi yes that is a whole mood right there i need to like I need to like scrub down my tub because I like I do it like every so often and so I will not take a bath until it's like freshly scrubbed but yes that is a big mood and especially me obviously I have boba whenever I, I get in there I put on a whole ass movie like I set up my laptop and in like a janky way <laughs> I set up my laptop in the most janky way like I have it on I I like take out the trash bag of my my bathroom trash can and then um, I flip it over have my laptop there pick a movie just watch it um, and then I also have oh my gosh please I also just have like the boba there and it's just actual vibes and I, I sit there for the whole movie um, let, let me catch up. There was a lot at once here. Um, gee, this game looks so cool. What game is it? So, Mandy, this game is called Mineko's Night Market. It is a cozy uh, game where you basically help this rundown, like, rural town get, like, prettier. You attract new villagers and stuff. And then you also help a giant cat return to its home. Um, if any of you guys are interested in this game, I do recommend it. It's, it's a very slow-paced game for me, and I like that. Um, because I can do a lot of other stuff like talk, but it's also like fairly cheap. I think it's only $15, but I bought it on sale for like 11 or 12 of it. And it's on PC, it's on, um, Switch, and I think it's on PlayStation. So yeah. And hi, Zach, welcome in. And thank you, uh, Georgia. Thank you so much for, for the compliment. Yes, I do like this hair. It's inspired by a hair that I had in real life. I had galaxy hair at one point. I did talk about it yesterday's stream. But my hair used to be purple and blue and like blended in. Love it. Miss it. Definitely would do it if I if I had. If I won the lottery, honestly, I wouldn't tell anyone, but that would be the sign. That would be the sign that I won the lottery if I went back to my galaxy hair. <laughs> um, when I was seven or eight, I had teeth surgery uh, and I felt like I was going to die. Uh, I was not feeling green crying, but I wanted there at that time. Ooh, teeth surgery is never the greatest. Luckily, I've... I haven't had to do that. My fiance had. He had his wisdom teeth taken out, and um, that was that was the time frame. My friend also had her wisdom teeth taken out, and she could not um, eat solid food for a while. But she also she she's a mess. I love her, but she's a mess. She could not she could not stand being on like the liquid diet they put her on. So that girl learned how to chew without using her teeth because she was just fed up with it. And I was like, you are gonna, you are gonna make your mouth so much worse if you do that. Um, yeah, gamer Eric, if you're spamming all that, I can, I can understand why that happened to you. So you know, take that as a lesson. Maybe do something new and and don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, let's see. Did I show you my cocktail boba drink? No. But I would, honestly, yes, that would be so great. I've only done that once. I've only had, you know, spicy boba. Um, once whenever I I had, like, extra because uh, of a party I went to back in university. And um, that's the only time, that's really the only time I have that, like, you know, w when I have the fun juice around because... Uh, <laughs> It's expensive. I'm not buying it on my own and I will take the leftovers because people are like, oh, I don't want it. Like, I'm, I'm just going to leave it here, throw it out. I'm like, excuse me, you're going to throw this out? There's no, like, like no, so I, I will take it. And that's the one time I had it. So, yeah. Uh, I don't have any of those. What a cheap lottery dream. Hey, I, I said that would be a sign. Obviously, I'd probably do more. My sign would just be like, hey, guys, I'm back in Japan and I live there forever now. So, yeah. Um, 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, George. I think he left. Bye. <laughs> I was, po it's popping pearls, but I imagine you can mix in a regular tea drink. Yeah, so like the theory behind it is essentially like a Long Island iced tea, I think. Um, so that's how it would taste. And since I use like Thai tea, that tea base is pretty agreeable for a lot of things. So that's where I lucked out. Um, so yeah, definitely. I think I had, um, <laughs> I don't think I had the best choice for it. Honestly, like mm, whiskey probably would have been better. I had, uh, I had Everclear and guys do not do that. It's, it's straight drinking. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's just straight, uh, straight drinking, rubbing alcohol. Never, never recommend it. I, oh, I PTSD from that. But yeah, so that's what I had mostly, but I think like a whiskey or gin would have been better with that Thai tea um, or like any sweet tea, kind of like a Long Island tea. So yeah. Uh, name a car, not BMW, Mercedes. That's, that's the best I can do. There's Jeep, there's Toyota, there's Nissan. Um, like car brands, yeah, I, I can name that. Actual cars, no. Um, so yeah, can I subscribe? Yeah, Georgia, you, uh, obviously you can, and all of you guys should take a page out of Georgia's book. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, fan, for subscribing, but I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like on my stream and, um, drop a follow. We are trying to reach 250 followers on YouTube, and on Twitch, we are trying to reach 60. Um, if you are on either platform and do feel very, very generous and want to follow me on both, I would absolutely love you guys forever. But also, if you guys are new, hi, my name is Kay. I'm a variety VTuber here on Twitch and YouTube, and we are playing Mineka's Night Market. It is a cozy game, one of the many, 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 many cozy games that I love to play. And um, that does bring me into my segment that I... Okay, guys, I remember how I said my fiance bought me two games that were like less than like $25 which is honestly a steal for me i bought cat cafe manager and spirit tea well i started playing spirit tea yes i actually started playing a game that wasn't genshin impact off stream and i i mean like obviously i recorded it on Streamlabs for like for content purposes obviously but you can't hear my voice so i'll probably do a voiceover if i ever edit it and post it um, because I might do a, I might do a review on that game, um, but it's actually kind of cute. I don't know, like, I think it's, like, I don't know what to think of it so far because it's, um, it's kind of like Stardew Valley, but if it was, like, Japanese-ish, um, and I think it's kind of like Diner Dash, so if it has, like, a Diner Dash aspect where you have to do, like, time management stuff, I think that I am in love with that game because that's i told you guys i i've been wanting to play a game that was kind of diner dash-esque so yeah uh subbing is mandatory yes trivia is right subbing is mandatory don't make him go into youtube and twitch and and harass you guys he he won't but don't make it <laughs> but yeah um let's see i did i won't let me oh dang um i'm new here hi georgia welcome in uh <laughs> konnichiwa yes hello konnichiwa konbanwa all that fun jazz welcome 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 irashima say is the, probably the best one that i'm supposed to say because it's the most accurate because this is like quote unquote a business so yeah that is too much kanji for me to read but no <laughs> i definitely cannot read kanji as good as i can before I used to be pretty decent at it, and now I'm just like, oh gosh. What is your favorite video game? My favorite video game has to be... I'm trying to think. Very random, because I haven't played it in a while, but I did talk about it the other day. Zoo Tycoon is what it is. Or no, Zoo Empire, that's what it's called. I think that's one of my favorite video games, because I could play it for hours on end like Genshin like I I love Genshin don't get me wrong I, I love the characters but um after a while like even when I'm on Genshin it takes me a while just to be like oh, do I actually still want to play play this like right now I've only played it for maybe like an hour or two at a time but no matter what no matter how old I am I recently played Zoo Empire last time I went back to my hometown because um 
because I have my old laptop that has a CD player in it. Um, I still played it for like five, six hours and I was like, yes, this is the best thing I, I can actually do with my life right now. It's so great and I don't know, is there just something with time management stuff where I'm just like, yes, this is, this is mine. Like this is my cup of tea. I, I think it's because I like being, <laughs> I like being like low key stressed, let's be honest. Cause like Diner Dash, Diner Dash is not like super relaxing. You have to get your shit together because you have to like do everything, kind of like make sure customers are happy and stuff. I will play that for hours too. Like I said, Nanny Mania was another one I used to play. And like, I actually used to play a lot of, uh, a lot of time management games when I was when I was growing up. Now that I think about it, because Nanny Mania, um, I used to have one that's called like Doggy Doggy Dash or something like that. Zoo Empire. Um, what else? What else? What else did I play? Um, Diner Dash again. Um, I can't even remember. Min na na uh. Pause. Nanny Mania. Okay, there you go octopus sign no i already have them so nanny mania oh play it four hours like zoo empire and i would i would have to like rush because there was only like 30 30 minute time limit or like an hour that i had to play it for free because it's like a big fish game and technically i can buy it on my computer and play it whenever i want um but do i want to spend that three dollars no i might just i might as well just get an emulator and like download it or something but that one is basically where you're a nanny to like rich family and they start having kids. They're super messy. Like honestly, they can't take care of themselves. So you have to like, you have to clean, you have to like do their laundry and like before they make a bigger mess for you and you have to do it within a certain time to get a perfect score, right? And then uh, like you could get like an okay score, but if you want that perfect score, you have to do it within that certain time limit and that is that is i i was always like i need to three star this is why i can never play like candy crush or any games like that because that's a no-go for me i am too much of a perfectionist for that to where i will just um like candy crush or anything i will be on the same level even if i beat it if i don't get three stars i will be stuck on that level i will not let myself continue so that's why i can't do that game but yeah um my favorite game is zoo games. Zoo games are pretty fun. There is one called Zoo World that's um, like on and off for sale on Steam. Like it goes for sale pretty often. I've been on the fence about buying it because I'm like, do I have enough time to fully dive into this addiction again? Probably not, but there's just, there's just some part of me where I'm like, I think it's because like there's some part of me that wants to run a business thinking it's gonna be as easy as these games. I know it won't. <laughs> I am fully aware that it will not be as easy, but I, my toxic trait is seeing difficult things and like think to myself like, yes, I can do that. I definitely can do that so much easier than other people. When in reality, I probably can't. So yeah, I play Windows games. Oh, nice. Do you have a, do you have a PC? Do you have like a gaming PC or like a regular laptop? Because um, if you have a regular laptop, I'd honestly be very surprised if it can play very good games. Um, I know like laptops nowadays are a lot better, but whenever I played games on my laptop, I've said it a couple times, I used to play this RPG that was really like popular back in the day called Arc Age. Now it's not so popular because I think another studio took over and kind of just like made it suck a bit, but, um, but it used to be really really good and it was like one of those where you, there wasn't like really set uh, classes that you have in RPGs um, and you can learn a bunch of different like magic skills, physical skills, all that fun jazz and um, oh I could give that to her okay we're not eating that just yet but yeah I used to play that on my laptop and uh, <laughs> the sounds that it would make it would sound like an airplane taking off because it definitely could not handle it could not handle that game but it, i play it and force it to play for like when I, okay whenever i get very very into a game obviously it's like the adhd in me um um it's the all or nothing like i will be hyper fixated on that i will play it forever same with stardew valley whenever i first played it but that was mostly because um that's also because my my fiance really liked stardew valley whenever we played it and obviously obviously i was not gonna be like no let's let's not play this game anymore right i didn't care 
I, I am, n I am accustomed to ruining my sleep schedule. I should not be. I should be a lot better about that, but I rarely have a normal sleep schedule anymore. Actually, no, lies. It's been pretty consistent now, but before it was definitely, <laughs> definitely all over the place. And it's kind of getting there again, because I already know I'm going to have to wake up early to put like clothes in the washer and stuff, because I definitely, um, have prioritized different things. So yeah. Um, I have a Windows XP, a Windows game is only on Windows. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I I know like technically Windows can play um, Xbox games, can't it? But yeah, hey, hey gamer Eric. Um, but I think technically you can play Xbox games on Windows. I haven't tried it, but I also, I need to start playing more games on my PC and that's what I've been trying to do. So, like, Spirit Tea, I bought it on Steam, um, because, like I said, my fiancé gifted it to me. So I bought it on Steam, or he bought it on Steam, gifted it to me. So that's one game I'm going to play. Cat Cafe Manager is another game I'm going to play. Um, what is it? This game, Stardew Valley Maneko, is on my PC. Genshin's on my PlayStation. If I ever buy Liza P, that's going to be on my PlayStation, because, oh my god. I cannot that is a game I already know I cannot with my uncoordinated hands um I cannot play that on PC so Liza P is definitely going to be a PlayStation game um Doraemon is PlayStation I'm trying to like think of all the games I have spaced out uh Pal World technically I do have Pal World and I have not touched it in a while but I did have remember those three days I streamed it and I meant to stream it more because I was gonna like I liked it I like advancing I was only gonna catch this, the ones I actually liked um, but yeah <laughs> I technically have that one too and and Lost Ark I haven't I haven't played that RPG in a while plush teapot oh yeah you can have that plush teapot man I don't I don't care about him either but yeah Lost Ark was another one that I played and probably can get back into, but that one's very much like a hack and slash RPG to where there's not a lot of exploration and that is the downside for me. I I love me a good game where I can really show off my shiny brain. So yeah. Oh, we got veggie juice. Um, my tea business is exploding lately. I have two customers, honestly. That's how I feel whenever I have viewers. <laughs> I have two viewers. I get that. Yes, Lily. Go, Lily. I, I'm so happy for you. Gosh, I can hardly keep up with the requests. All of them are clamoring for some homemade chamomile tea. Um, oh, some of them, if there's a port. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, bye, Georgia. I hope you have a lovely night or morning wherever you are. Um, my sister has a Windows 8.1. Oh gosh. Hi, Lightning Dragon. Welcome in. No worries on being late. It's absolutely fine. Camellia flowers. Yes, we are gonna, we are gonna give you all the flowers you want. Oh my, I hope you, you didn't have to go through too much trouble to find these. Thank you so much. I will use them immediately. Oh, I want you to have this. We got, two, we got another box, Mo blind box. Sorry if it seems a little distracted. My tea business has been occupying every remaining brain cell I have. Um, could you, I could really use some kind, sort of ledger, a Sakura journal to keep track of my business expenses. Ooh, I actually don't think I have a Sakura journal, so. Um, I hope so too, V. I really do too. Um, let's see she wanted a cat purse didn't she yeah i don't have enough for a cat purse but sakura journal i don't think i can make that just yet um but yeah bye georgia hope you have a wonderful night um let's see i need to see this let's go here i don't think my dad has anything to say i still don't know what he does like i i need to know what does my dad do for a job like is he just like is he just a local thing or like local a local thing yes look at my dad a local thing i meant to say like a jester because all that's all he does is make fun of us so we have a yokai hunter sign uh hi kalisto welcome in i hope you're having a lovely sad not saturday not wrong sunday sunday or monday there we go and what was i even looking for it's probably gonna be under paper wouldn't it Dang it! We don't have origami paper, and I don't know how to make origami paper. Okay, but I... 
I think I have to unlock other stuff. I'm just gonna go to sleep because there's really nothing I can do. Uh, can I have mod? No, because you want to know why, Hunter? I have no mods. And honestly, I would not give it out to someone that's just like popped in. <laughs> Definitely would not do that. That is a red flag for anyone who does want to stream in the future or is currently streaming and don't know about mods. Please, please, please do not just give it to anyone who pays you, to anyone who just asks for it. Just do it on someone you trust. Really, like give it to someone you trust. Um, Windows 98 is not even out yet. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, Windows 98, There, what is it even on? Isn't it on like Windows 10 or 11? I don't know. I ne Oh, he he's playing his game. He will never be able to hear me. Hey, and Lightning Dragon, welcome in on Twitch. Um, I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Uh, yes, I did, V. I already uh, looked at it and I did respond to it. Alrighty, so what am I trying to do? Because I... I know I need to do stuff. There's craft items to sell at the night market, but I need other things as well. So they want like an Octo Candy. She wants an upcycled art piece, which I don't think I can get her. Um, what, what day are we even on here? We got all that. We got purple thing. I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, I was going to say the hearts, but I don't know what day we're on. Please, 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 keyboard, work with me here. Um, let's see. Uh, you're gonna make me Fortnite dance? Do it, Hunter. Do the Fortnite dance, I dare you. It was made in 1998, is that what they call it? Um, got it, we gotta get to the bottom of things, the whole Nico Agent's cat thing. I am doing good. Uh, am lightning dragon I have one I've just been doing a lot of a lot of like getting like my my stuff together my shit together uh, <laughs> my crap together because I told you guys I started working on one getting everything like clean slowly deep cleaning again um, so we did that we went to go get uh, dessert to treat ourselves for such hard work right and then um, then I have just been playing video games. Like I said, I did start Spirit T, which is a pretty, pretty cute game. Highly recommend it. Um, say highly recommend it. I just started, but I do like it, but I don't know like what to think of it yet. And that's the problem because I'm just like, whenever like I'm, I'm using it cause I just played it. I only played it for, um, I only played it for 90 minutes, and I say that like it's not a lot. 90 minutes is kind of a lot of time, right? <laughs> I like the little thing. Okay, we're going to go to the cat farm. And so I did uh, I did play for 90 minutes, and I did barely get to like the time management aspect of doing like, because the whole point of Spirit Tea is, like I said, it's like Stardew Valley type of deal where you try to, like you move to a new town, but it's more like Japanese-esque type of deal. Um, you try to help spirits and like start a bathhouse for them to help them relax and find their way. Um, but it's, um, it's, I like it. If it's like a time management thing, I told you guys, I've been wanting to do that. I've been wanting more of like, um, like a diner dash type of deal. So I, I'm ready for it. I'm, so we'll do that. Let's pick up all of this here. Bam. I have to like put my fingers in like a very awkward position to get everything here. Oh damn it. Come on, let me let me go do it. Let's go here. There's three of them here. We can definitely do that. Look at their Nico Scarecrow. Honestly, that feels night nightmares as well. Um like Nico Scarecrow and California traffic. Both nightmare feels. I know Trivi, you are from California, and honestly, I wanna know how you deal with that traffic. Like how the heck are you even like alive with that? because I, well, I guess if you like grow up in it, you would be, it would be normal to you, but I, I do not. I avoid, I really like, I'm telling you guys, I would like to visit California because they have like some really nice cities. Um, I really just want to visit Disneyland and I think, what is it? Is it Seattle there? Yeah. No, no, no. Seattle, Washington, San Diego. I don't know. One of them. Um, but I call Dish and complain. He will concur. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't confirm. Oh my gosh, yeah. There are very few like towns that I want to go visit. So yeah, San Diego, there you go. Um, like that one. Um, Los Angeles, kind of, but I heard it's, um, I heard that it's like dirty there. <laughs> But it is, it can be nice. Los Angeles, I would just go to visit for food, let's be honest. Um, and like Disneyland and Anaheim, that stuff. But after that, I would just be like, peace out, bye. Because I, I would not be able to deal with that many people. LA is huge, depends where you go. That makes sense, though. Okay, so do I have a lot of, no, that's not what I meant to do. I want to see, do I have a lot of craftable stuff that I made, so... We have food, we have resources, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stuff I can sell. Um, what day are we on? So we are on Wednesday. I'm gonna go to sleep again, and hopefully by tomorrow's Thursday, Friday, so I have two more times where I have to go to sleep, and then Friday I will make a lot more stuff for the night market. I'm trying to just go through this week because, like I said, I don't really know what to do at this point. There's not really a set, um, a set quest for me to do right now. Um, but yeah, San Diego's in Cali. LA is huge and depends where you go. Yeah, I there are some places where I see it in LA. I'm like, yes, I would love to. I would love to just like see it and go there, especially because the food there just looks so good. Whenever I um, oh that's lovely. Um, whenever I, like, go on Instagram, a lot of, like, the, like, the food stuff and foodie things that, like, I don't follow any foodie accounts, right? But they just pop up on my feed. The algorithm knows that I, I like food. Let's be honest. And so, it just shows. And so, like, I got a lot of LA feed, Houston feed, and I feel the same about Houston. Would not want to go there. <laughs> Willingly. My, my parents go to Houston every so often, um, and I'm just like, why? I, I don't know how you survive. Like, I, I would actually cry. I did almost cry, like, the one time I had to drive in Houston, and I avoided with my life. Um, it's horrible. So, yeah. I should tell you the Asian food is way better in Cali than Texas. That is what I'm referring to whenever I, whenever I say my foodie, my foodie vlogs that pop up on my algorithm on Instagram. It's all the Asian food, it's all the ramen, it's all the Korean food, it's all the, I'm trying to even think, it's all the, the sushi especially, a chef's hat, wait, do I have a chef's hat? I need to see, do I have a chef's hat at all? No, I don't. You best bet I'm going to buy a freaking chef's hat. Bam. I, I'm just sad I can't wear it, but I will have it. And it's good, but Cali was, uh, two of the people I met in Texas wanted Japanese food, and it's good, but Cali is way better. That doesn't surprise me, because California has a lot more Japanese people than Texas. Um, I think whenever I went out this past weekend to go to that, uh, Japanese bookstore I wanted to go to in a different city, that was actually the most Japanese I've heard outside. Outside of, like, my Japanese club that I used to be in, that was the most I've heard out in the wild, and, like, I was so proud. I was like, oh my gosh, I can actually eavesdrop on them. And they were, it's not like they were talking about anything like bad or horrible, but uh, <laughs> they were definitely talking like, they were like, oh, poor, like this poor girl, like looking at, uh, they were looking at makeup and that's all I could make out. They were just like, oh no, like, I guess the girl was not choosing the right makeup, but they were just talking about how they feel bad. And I was like, oh, okay. But definitely love that I can eavesdrop because I was like, yes. The next one that I want to pick up, honestly, I have to flip a coin, but I know I needed like a better Japanese. I want to like flip a coin and, um, what is it? Either learn Thai or learn Korean because those are the two next countries I want to visit. And so I don't want to go there because I did go to Thailand once when I was in university and it was kind of difficult to get around because we did not know any Thai obviously we only knew how to say hi thank you and that's pretty much it so I want to know more that way I could communicate without just like pointing at stuff and like actually order it and like you know get around better um because getting like the they call it like tuk-tuks and they're basically like these red um red kind of 
taxi cab looking things. Um, no seatbelts, obviously. It's, it's great time, honestly. But it is very difficult to go around because they, they will be like, oh my gosh, like, like trying to figure out what you're saying. So that or Korea, because like I said, I love me a good cafe. And Korea, South Korea has a crap ton of them. Like those videos that I've seen, they have like obviously dog cafes, cat cafes. They have rain themed cafes where it's just a whole a whole mood of like a rainstorm outside and super calming. They have crocheting and knitting cafes, which with yarn provided that you you can buy there if you run out. And I'm just like, yes, I need that in my life. Like I will go like obviously to the temples and to all the other tourist spots, but I will definitely go to all the, the cafes there. I also forgot which other ones they had. I think it was like Japan where they have like uh, like a mini pig cafe. Ooh, I forgot about these bottles. That's right. I need to open them up because they can actually have recipes in there. So let's open it. I have five. Um, there's a cat island in Japan. Note to sell. Buy ro more ramen. -ay. Okay. Um, yeah, I did see that. I did. Um, because I obviously, because I'm very interested in it. I got a lot of Japanese uh, videos on my Instagram whether it's like tourists going there and be like more notes to self buy more ramen -ay. um whether it's like tourists looking at like different places but i did see that cat cafe one or not cat cafe cat island one how many how many notes to self does this guy need to buy more ramen -ay? oh my gosh i swear is, if this is all ramen -ay, note to self i don't I, I don't know. I'm going to find this town's person and be like, what is wrong with you, my guy? But yeah, I did see that M. Lightning Dragon, and I do want to go to that. I think it's so cute. There is also... Okay. <laughs> There's also a Bunny Island one <laughs> that I want to go to also, because you have to find... um. You have to find, like, a certain amount of rabbits there and, like, identify them. And then you can win a prize. So I like that. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me, let me catch up on comments after I am here. So we got a red snapper. Don't worry. Just work harder. So let's see. Guess the Pokemon. It's Pokemon 700. Uh, I, I can't, I can't look at the, the chat, but I did... I did miss it. I don't know Pokemon by their numbers. I actually do not. <laughs> but 742, um, that's a newer Gen 1, isn't it? My guess is going to be Trubbish. I have no idea what Trubbish is, like, number-wise, but I just know 700 and something is way too new, like, new generation, but not new enough. It's, so I think Trubbish is kind of like in that generation, right in the middle. Because I think that would probably be, no, is it X and Y in there or black and white? I feel like that's somewhere in the middle, but there's also like sun and moon after that. So I, I don't even know what we're on anymore. Pokemon, I, <laughs> I love it dearly, but I stopped knowing a lot of the Pokemon after, um, after the Heart Gold and Soul Silver remake, because I have, I have Diamond and Pearl and I have Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, somewhere like on my DS, like I have it for DS and then, um, Diamond and Pearl, I have, I have a Japanese version one for a 3DS or regular DS and I have one for my Switch that I need to finish because I was almost done and then I got distracted. Um, so I do need to finish, uh, Shining, S Shining Pearl. Yeah. Yeah. Shining Pearl. I need to finish that one. But after that, I was like... I was like, ooh, I, I don't know anything else on this because, um, like I said, growing up, my my mom was like, ah, gaming's not a girl thing. Like, why do you need more games? It took me a while to convince her to buy me a Pokemon game. And then when I asked for another Pokemon game, she really was like, oh, yeah, like, why do you need it? Why do you need another Pokemon game if you have one? Aren't they all the same? I mean, yes, but no, they're not. <laughs> They have different ones and like a bit of a different story with a different evil guy. Like obviously you beat you beat the same like elite four or whatever, like the top trainers. You go through all the gyms and stuff. They're the same, but they're not mother. But I I convinced her to buy me um 
I'm trying to think of what it is. Um, I think it was Pokemon. Honestly, it was a Pokemon Rangers game is what I, I convinced her to buy buy me because I was like, okay, like this is completely different. I wanted to try it out. Good thing I had her buy that because I love the Pokemon Ranger series so much. Like I love it that it's like a little dungeon crawler type of deal. And it's, I think I actually did cry at the story, which is no surprise. We all know I'm a huge weenie when it comes to that. And I think I actually did cry at the story for that whenever like everything was revealed because I had the I had the one that had to do with time and you had to like fight Dialga in that and so that's the one I have. I wanted the one that's on Switch right now but it never goes on sale. Pokemon games never go on sale so it's still $60 even though it's a ranger game. Um, I say even though it it's definitely a, I think they're better than the mainstream games because they're more interesting but um, yeah I am so glad she bought me that. I would definitely buy more ranger games for that. And I'm still on the fence about buying it. But yeah. Uh, Pokemon games have good resale value. They do. Um, apparently. Apparently if you have. Um, I'm trying to make sure my dog's not behind me. Because I have accidentally almost run her over. <laughs> while scooting my, my chair back. And hey music welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday or Monday. Wherever you're at. Um, but my friend was telling me. That if you have heart gold or soul silver. For DS. Um that it's actually going for quite a bit of money and i was like what the heck like that that's crazy because i have it and will i ever sell it no i will never sell that game it's the same thing with like it's the same thing with my pokemon cards and like and stuff like that i have one that's worth like 200 dollars that we bought at um where did we buy it i think we bought that one at um at a lost and found station in Japan. So <laughs> trivi, it's like if you go to Japan, definitely look at the train lost and found station because I we got like 40 or 50 cards super cheap. I think it was only like five dollars USD. So you can find some really cheap stuff. Like my my fiance got some initial D um, merchandise, like a figurine for like two dollars for his for his brother who's really into that. And you can find really good like stuff at the train, like train lost and found because people will leave like AirPods behind. They will leave earphones, a whole crap ton of stuff. So it's really, it's really worth it to see what people are dumb enough to leave. But yeah, that's what I, I got. Um, it's like this full art Vaporeon, um, it's like Vaporeon swimming in an ocean, full art Japanese uh, Pokemon card that I found there, and it's apparently worth like two hundred dollars. And I was like, "This is this is great." So yeah, <laughs> um, it's like two hundred bucks or something crazy. Yeah, because I have a weird, I have very weird obsessions. Whenever like whenever it comes to cards and stuff, where I have to look up the value. So technically, I at one point knew all the values of the cards that I have in my collection. Um, right now, I have the rabbit hole of wanting to put my cards in numerical order for the Pokemons that I have them for. But um, yeah, at one point I do. I do have one. I have that one. I have a couple that are worth like 60 or 80 because they're full art cards. And um, so I have those. There's like because I don't buy a lot of Pokemon cards. I It's more like a treat myself whenever I find it at like Target. And so I will buy, we'll buy like a pack that has at least like six of them. That way I open three, my fiance opens three. And so that's usually how it goes. Or we buy like the little tins because they will have four. But we haven't bought some in like months. It's like, it's not something we buy every single time we go to Target, but I will always like peruse. And if there's like a set that really catches my eyes, I will. But there was one that had the three legendaries, like uh, Sweet Coon, um, oh, what is it? Ho Oh, and all that other stuff. But it was like $60. And I was like, what the heck? I am not. Oh, that was horrible. I was like, I am not paying like $60 for these. And it was like guaranteed that you were going to get like uh, the hollow. And I was like, no, I, 
Like, I, I love those legendaries because that's the one I grew up with, but I, I'm not paying that much for, <laughs> I'm not paying that much for cards. Um, give me a second, uh, M. Lightning Dragon. Uh, would you like to ever get an actual VTuber model for stream and stuff? Um, technically, this is kind of a, an actual VTuber model. It's just not the best, but yes. Um, shout out to Trivi, who has been sending me a lot of resources. I haven't seen your, your message just yet or looked at the picture, but I will after stream. Um, I was just in the middle of my, <laughs> my rabbit hole of deep cleaning, but um, yes, I, I do actually want... Um, a VTuber that I could move my hands around because like I said I talk a lot with my hands you guys are definitely missing a lot of my a lot of my movements whenever I I move my hands I do a lot of Italian signs whenever I am frustrated at the game or at life um, I will do a lot of different stuff with with my hands uh, I I do chef kiss a lot too that you guys can somewhat hear me do, but cannot ever see me do. Um, so yeah, that's the sucky part. Ooh, we can, that would give us, yes. Okay, now I could chop down more trees. Yes, that's my dream. Just chop down all the trees. Honestly, am I, am I worse than the agents? Cause the agents were, I mean, the agents were trapping cats, but I'm actually just ruining the environment that they live in. So nah. I think it's still better. But yeah, um, he's, uh, like I said, Trivi's been like showing different resources and artists that do a uh, VTubers commissions because I actually do not know. I don't know where to look and honestly, I heard some horror stories about people getting scammed out of like hundreds of dollars for that whenever they commission a VTuber. And I am actually kind of scared by that. Low key, I want to ask my friend to, to try to draw it and like do a commission like that and see how she comes out in her art style but one step at a time we we have way too many things so there oh hi nicole thank you so much for for coming into my stream and thank you so much for the compliment i really appreciate it i hope you're having a lovely sunday or monday wherever you are at um yes i did be and i uh, i did uh, respond to that earlier um but yeah so I, I kind of just wanted to see because I told you guys my actual uh, my actual goal is to have several different VTuber models obviously looking roughly the same as this one right because at this point I am very attached to how this like how my VTuber model works and looks and stuff um, looks is the word I was not trying to say not works but because I've been using this VTuber model like on reality for about like four months streaming maybe on and off like a year so I'm very much used to it it's very much like my brand so I want to see how this VTuber model looks in other art styles but I like I want a chibi version I want an actual cat version of this VTuber model because I think that'd just be absolutely adorable um I want I want like you know like an actual cool uh maybe like low-key realistic version of it i don't know me working in a boba shop like a barista version of this honestly that'd be super cute i i'd actually love to see a barista version of this v vtuber model um i do have kind of like i do have one other okay wait hold on give me a second um uh, give me a second because i saw reconnecting give me give me two Okay, um, I got a confirmation that I'm still live by my fiance. He he definitely tells me if there's like major stuff going on with my stream. So he he's the one that I can ask like really 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 quickly if stuff goes wrong. But for some reason on Streamlabs it says reconnecting, and I had a mini panic attack. Um, yes, Nicole, I am reading. Uh, I am reading your comments. I will say, guys, please, please, please do not keep asking if I read your comments. I do read them. I have responded to them. 
Yeah. If you want to look at my response, please watch my VODs, but I cannot keep going back to the same comments because I think it's unfair for other people who do have new idea, new stuff to say, and yeah, so I can't keep repeating the same thing because people will eventually get tired. But no, I do answer most comments unless they're super inappropriate or just actually just out of the question on me answering. Um, as always, don't make people uncomfortable, do not spam, and all that other fun jazz. But yes, I have actually looked at everyone's comments and responded to them at one point. Just watch the, just watch the stream upload. Definitely. Haha. <laughs> Wink. Build up that engagement. Watch the stream uploads if you want your answers, your questions answered, because they were. Do you have a favorite movie? What is it? My favorite movie, um, dang. I think it's a Korean movie called Forgotten because that is one where I'm at. Dang it, I forgot to make stuff. That is one where I I consider it my favorite Christmas movie, like as a joke, but as like a favorite movie. It's high, highly up there. Recommend it. I think it's on Netflix still, but it's called Forgotten. Oh my gosh, amazing. Love it. Watch it. I try to watch it every year, but I don't think I watched it this year because my fiance was like, please, 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 please. Can we not watch it once again? And I was like, fine, um, because I definitely would have. I would have watched it again. Um, but yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. Um, Mulan is another favorite one. There is also another one that I'm trying to remember, but I can't remember what exactly it is. Sorry, guys. I had to yawn. Let's go ahead and make stuff for the night market. <gasps> I could have made her terrarium this whole time. We are gonna make two of them. Okay, we're gonna make we're gonna make a crap ton of these terrariums. I did not know I could have made that for her this whole time. She's been asking for it. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hey, blocks, welcome in. That actually blew my mind. Um, Venom is my favorite movie. Um, Emma hates this movie, but Ray loves the movie Venom. I've actually never seen Venom. It, it's like, I don't watch a lot of superhero or like, um, I guess like superhero villain movies. I don't watch a lot of just because those never quite, they just never call out to me. Like I, I saw a handful of like a handful of Marvel movies when my friends in college actually like was re-watching them because you know it was the time where Endgame was like coming out and the second part of it so I didn't oh gosh I didn't watch like um what is it the Avengers Endgame or whatever I watched it without knowing any context to it at all um just because they were like hey like it'll be fun let's do this and I was like okay like sure sure why not and I I have paid attention to it I actually honestly I actually did my homework <laughs> while watching it and that says something because I hated doing my homework um so yeah I I don't know like superhero movies just never hold my attention I think it's because I unlike my fiance who loves action stuff like that's why he loves like shonen anime and stuff he loves a good fight scene and everything I love character development I love a good story, I love character development and everything, and so that's why I absolutely love, 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 love Slice of Life and like rom-coms and stuff, and even with like, even with regular movies, anything with good character development, I'm like, yes, give that to me. I love it, can never get enough of it. Okay, hold on, let me focus on this. Uh, how old are you now? 25. I am old. I am ancient. 25 dang years old so i'm honestly halfway to 30 and that's that's actually terrifying because if i think about it like whenever i graduate from like from my graduate program i will be like almost 30 and then i will probably knowing me want to do a residency and that will take like two three years and so i will be making nothing till i'm like 32 and i'm like oh my gosh that is that is crazy. Oh, I need I need to focus on this before I mess up a paper craft. Like how if you don't get it perfect on paper craft, what are you doing with your life? Uh oh thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much for, for the compliment on my videos. But yeah, I am ancient. I know 
honestly i know there's a huge age gap within like especially my youtube viewers there is quite a bit of age gap um but i found out on at least twitch a lot of people are generally like early 20s and stuff and like i guess whatever um whatever my reach was on on um instagram too it was pretty much like around my my age range so i was like okay that's cool mm, let's see i need i could make more of these but these didn't really sell um what can i make i can't make that i could probably make a let's make a planter box let's make about two planter boxes and then we will make a recycling bin as well i'm just trying to get everything that i could possibly sell i'm 10 years old can we be uh friends please uh <laughs> thank you so much nicole um i don't think we can necessarily be friends because let's be honest 10 and t 10 and 25 is quite an age gap there's not a lot of similar stuff going in my life and yours you are probably worried about i don't know it's like no offense roblox or something <laughs> in Fortnite, but I am worried about student debt going into vet school <laughs> and um you know the crippling depression that is life I don't know now actually I'm just worried about when's my next coffee but <laughs> I'm definitely worried about definitely a lot more stuff because like you guys have mentioned you you have bullying going on you have tests you ha oh gosh look at that that was actually horrible you have tests going on um like breaks and stuff i don't i have work i worked this past week i worked 47 hours i have to do like the one thing we have in common is is like homework because i'm still taking classes but yeah definitely a lot oh, i keep missing that second one so yeah um no no face reveals until i get a thousand on each platform and you get you get a nose a nose will be all that um let's see bye b i hope you have a lovely day and i hope everything at school goes well stuff like that so you like i there's not a lot of people that i know who go to school and if they do it's university and let's be honest we we question whether we should go to classes at any point of that time um let's see do i like peanut butter yes i like peanut butter especially whenever it is in a smoothie because there's just something about that it's like super good super i would say refreshing but no smoothies are not necessarily refreshing but they do hit that like um that like sweet spot you know like whenever i'm just like craving desserts oh yes guess what beehive terrarium gift that so yeah thank you peanut butter thank you so much for that um and hey dork welcome in yes i finally I, honestly i'm very surprised that i did not give her a beehive like way way before i didn't realize i could make one already a ladybug dongo yes we have that for you too yes take it everything we are getting all the love from her dang it's so good you can have this we got black ramen and what else bug diorama let's see a bug diorama let's see if we can make that just for you i don't know your name <laughs> what is your name my guy no go go keyboard please respond to me for this may take a while my keyboard is deciding to throw its fit what are, what is your name cho cho we will make that bug diorama for you <laughs> the best streamer because peanut butter yes honestly I feel like the only reason you shouldn't like peanut butter is if you have an allergy to it, but like it's actually pretty good. It's one of the few foods that I don't need it mixed with anything and I I say that like like you mix a lot of food, you know, like tomatoes, I need them cooked, I need them with like pasta and meat for them to be good. But um for everything else like peanut butter, I can just eat like a whole spoonful of that and just be like do you like Burger King or chicken nuggets? So I like chicken nuggets, honestly. <laughs> Burger King, I have not eaten in years. Honestly, like 10 plus years. It's been quite a while. Damn it, I don't have a bug diorama thing. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> so 
for people out there who may be new to VTubers and streamers, please, 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 do not constantly ask for face reveals. Do not ask to join streams. Do not demand me to play certain games that I do not want to play. And do not ask for personal information, such as addresses, real names, and such, because you will get ignored, and I will ignore stuff like that. So if you do not want to be ignored by your favorite cat girl VTuber, Please follow my rules and please have some bit of common sense. Sorry to be so mean. This is one of the times where I'll be extra blunt, but please, please, please don't be one of those people that they will make videos about you and what not to do when streaming. So trying to help you from being a subject of a future Instagram video. So yeah. Um, but hi, Queen. Welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day. He has black ramen IRL. Is that just like ramen with split ink? That's honestly what I would think it is. Or like, yeah, honestly, squid ink would be the best one, right? Because what else would it be? Which I, I'm sad I never got to try that. No, I do not, Nicole. I do not play Roblox. I do not play Fortnite. I do not play any other games. Honestly, I should probably put it in my bio, frequently asked questions because I do answer this one quite often. <laughs> Um, the games I do play are mostly the games that I stream, so I do play Genshin Impact, Mineko's Night Market, and Stardew Valley. I did recently add one game to the stuff I am playing, but it is off stream and it is called Spirit Tea. Um, if any of you guys are interested in that, it, like I said, it's like Stardew Valley, but very Japanese-ish like. Um, and you do run like a, a bathhouse for yokai or like spirits. It's on sale for twelve, eleven dollars. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll waste our stamina. I say waste. It's not. We are getting. We are getting all the resources, right? Oh, thank you, Queen. Thank you so much for that. We're getting all the resources and everything. So it's not. It's not technically a waste, but we are wasting time until the night market because I think this is the last one before um, before I go into fall, right? And so um, fall, this will be our first, like our first week in fall after this. And I probably will end stream after this uh, night market and everything because I do have to take my dog out, I have to feed her, and I also do have, uh, I have work tomorrow, but don't worry guys, I will be streaming again tomorrow because um, I decided to sleep on Friday instead of, <laughs> instead of streaming, but I, I'm saying, what, like, whatever, if I had streamed on Friday, you guys would have gotten like a zombie version of me, like I, <laughs> I definitely would have been out of it, it would have been, zombie is the most accurate term for what I, what that stream would have been i would have been dead inside so out of it saying like more nonsense than i actually do on regular streams like it would it would not be coherent conversation because my fiance did try to like talk to me a bit like he sometimes he just does it i feel like he just does it for fun and like tries to talk to me whenever i'm like half asleep and it will not make sense. I don't even remember telling him stuff. And he was just like, yeah, you said this and that. And I was like, oh, okay. Apparently, apparently that's what I said, but have no memory of it. So due to the increasing popularity of the night market, the night market has been upgraded to have that creepy, uh, <laughs> that creepy, um, cat mascot. Ooh. Ooh, Okay. We got some action figures. We're going to we're going to yoink those so badly. Oh no, worries, Queen. I hope you have a a lovely Saturday or no, it's not Saturday, Sunday or Monday. I keep getting those wrong. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely night. Ooh, is there another one opening? What is that weird thing and why? Why is this old crusty man? Sorry, my guy. It is rude, but he looks crusty. Why is he wearing a milk costume? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this game makes me... Honestly, this game makes me question their, some of their character designs. Like, <laughs> like the guy who has a kid that, um, that just wears a corn suit. But that corn kid is like... Is great. Hey, 
and Kaspicious, welcome in. Uh, okay. Then any competitor out there. Okay, this one I do. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. We gotta we gotta do to just shouting. Someone is actually making me making me open Twitch and do stream manager. Uh, go to stream rise. My guy, do not do this. Let's go to Twitch. Why is it taking so long? Is the internet so slow today? Let's go open to creator dashboard. We're going to go to stream manager. And we are gonna... We are gonna ban them. Let's see here. If I can actually get this. Restrict. Bam. We are good. And we are also going to... Oh my gosh. Can I please just do this without that? Hold on. Uh, why would you rather... Hey, Kit. Sorry. Are you ending stream? No, I am... I am just doing this. I'm, I'm falling way behind on stream right now, but I do need to delete this and I don't know how to, so that's the only thing here. But at the same time, do I really care at the moment? No, because I already restricted them. So we're going back. Hold on. Let me end this because Google Chrome will suck the life out of everything on here so we're gonna do this hopefully quickly change to Mineko's night market bam we're good here so yeah um we're going back to this guys i do not ever make me open up my google chrome and do stuff like that i do not have time or energy for this i tight schedule i have plans to do here and stuff i need to finish before I get an end stream. So we are trying to finish the night market before I end stream. So yeah. Um, let's see. Um, why not just, oh, why not just use opera? Because I, I don't have everything set up that I need to for that. Ooh, we have a ramen shop. Wait, is that my dad? Is that my dad doing that? Yeah. So I, do not have like a bunch of bots set up i do need to like s work on that and i will look into the one that um that they said for discord i do need to look at other moderator bots especially for like night bot and stuff but yeah i i just don't know a lot of stuff oh a cat parade that's right i don't think i i was gonna enjoy the cat parade a lot but w we'll see S customers will display items we'll do we'll do the one that we have here we'll do two of these we'll do the card game um we'll do two boxes of the planters i think this will work that's no no cancel we are not selling the food the food is priceless so we'll go here we'll sell this imperfect flower box um do i have an oculus no i do not i <laughs> i do not have a, an oculus those are expensive Honestly, I wish, I wish I had an Oculus because I would love, 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 love to do VR stuff, especially because then I would be able to do like VR chat and stuff and like work in a VTuber like that. But no. Do I have Hello Kitty stuff? No, but I do have Sanrio stuff. So yeah. Come all, come one. Welcome in. Ooh, can we sell it for here? Ooh, yes, we can sell it. Let's, let's suck them dry of all their money sorry chica you you are you are a valued customer don't get me wrong but i will still say that so we'll call customers again look at him welcome welcome to planter box you know what sure that's fine bam look at that what else are we going to display i have no idea uh, we'll do crafted items. Oh, we'll do this. We'll do two of these. Uh, call customers. We have recycling boxes. Let's do this. Come on, Ben. What do you have? Will you do that? Sure. Three ninety-five is good, Ben. Especially since you want me to buy you a freaking game console. Um, what else? There was the pug thing. 
Oh shoot, what am I what am I missing? Oh oh I don't think I displayed my how did I not display my Hank the Hunk merch? Oh my gosh, am I dumb? Um I have Sanrio, yeah. I really like cinnamon roll because one blue and then I also like pom pom pudding because he's just he's just a fat dog and I love it. Window perfect? Yes, sure. 251's fine. I'm not gonna fight them. Display item. I don't know what else I have on there. Maybe like a, a just an okay planter box. Yes. Call customers. We don't know what they're gonna have. It's that pug girl. What do you want? Beehive terrarium? You know what? That's fine. I don't care. Let's go. I'm just gonna run through everything here. Uh, ooh, we have these. I could do two of these perfect things. Let's call customers. I have no idea how many more there are, are gonna be. It's this pug girl again. Small fishing pond. Yes, let's do it. Let's rush through this so I can spend all of my money, all of my hard-earned money on everything. You know what? We're going to sell one of the tiger eyes just, just to fill up space. Oh, it's this guy. He's going to walk. Oh, he actually didn't just walk by. Look at Rio. Actually, he's, he's not ignoring my shop anymore. I love it. Okay, I have no idea what else I have for sale here. Uh, maybe this do I have that for sale no I don't so we'll we'll have that oh I could have sold my Sakura fan so yes we'll sell this bam I can afford this I can afford this that showed that it's the mindset we need and we could display these two call customers that was probably all it wasn't yes Emmy look at you spending the money she knows what is good here um, what else do we have to sell? I'm running low. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, ooh, ooh, we have normal capes here. We got normal capes to sell. Bam, call customers. I think that's probably it. No, it's not. One magic cape, perfect. Bam, thank you, Hannah. Call customers to display. Nico Temple Flowers. Bella, you are top customer once again. Ooh, let's see. I don't think I have anything else to sell. Um, dang, crap. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. Um, uh, I don't know. We, we'll just keep it as that. We only have this to sell. That's too bad. That's all. Good thing. We, we didn't have a lot. Look, we got, we got our market upgraded, though. Look at that. We sold, um, we sold, item sold this week one. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, top sold item is our card game. Perfect. Um, I've been looking for you. Everything is, everyone is buzzing about your booth. Thanks to vendors like you. Word of the night market is really going around. Keep up the great work, kid. It is now upgraded to level seven. Ooh, what the heck? She has a rainbow die. Okay, we are buying. Oh, this is going to run me dry. We are buying eight of those or ten. I, I don't know what I'm buying anymore. Um, ooh, ooh. Yes, we needed these. We'll buy two of these. Um, we have these and we have these already. We have all of these. I don't like his. We bought all of these. I have all of these at one point already. Um, too tired to fish. Maybe I will eat something so I can fish here. I don't think I have anything that I can give to her. So no. We are going to buy everything here. Is Yeah, that's our dad. Why is our dad selling stuff? And one, why is he making me buy it? Excuse me, sir. This should be discounted for your loving, your loving dollar, uh, dollar, daughter, but no. So disappear ink. We are definitely buying two. We are buying two heavy metal. We are buying two of everything that we do not have. Do you have a guinea pig or no? No, I do not. Uh, we have all of these. Actually, do I have this? I'm going to take two of these because I don't remember if, if I got cucumber shaved ice. These things I don't care about, but I'm going to buy one of each because why not? Yokai action figure. I feel like that guy is going to ask for it. So we have all of these. I definitely will buy more of these. So we're just going to buy, we're going to buy like 20. I feel like that's what I need to do. Um, this one, I have a lot of them, but we'll only buy 10. We'll buy another 20 of these. So we'll see on that. Um, these people really know how to sell. 
Yeah, so we have 23. I'm going to buy more of the Sakura ones. That way I have at least 50 of them. So we'll buy another 30. And this is honestly where all my money is going to go. Goodbye, money. Um, Let's see. Ooh, let's see. Yes, why not? Let's pull the middle one. Why not? Let's see. Oh, we got a blue flower. Nice. Um, we got this girl here. We got your Speedo Agaru gum here. We got the Boximal Gotcha Machine here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat. Oh gosh. Hello? <laughs> I'm going to eat one food item that I know I don't really care about. So we will go with this. We'll drink this here and see what the heck his, um, oh, mashed up whatever mashed up earth it tastes like mashed up earth so we'll do this we'll do a fishing game for for 50 50 dollars hopefully it gives us like rare fish if not i'll be kind of mad it's a freaking bottle am i gonna buy another 50 dollars worth obviously obviously because i want to win something that's not a bottle come on my guy come on bite it i dare you just bite the bobber, you know you want to. Ooh, we got a koi. Okay, that's new. That is new. I've never caught a, a koi before. Do you have a cat or dog or bird? I have a dog. Um, I have a dog that is very um, vocal and very sassy. She definitely, um, she definitely knows what she's doing in life, and that's the scary part because she, she one, she knows to grumble until I let her out because she knows I will like will value sleep more than anything and so I will just let her on the couch and do that and she she knows how to slap for attention she knows how to throw toys we have toys that are deemed concussion toys because she will use them to attack um and not viciously but she whenever she gets frustrated she'll be like the got like I I if you're not gonna play I'm gonna attack you with my toy so yeah bye M lightning dragon I hope you have a lovely uh, night, and I hope to see you on next stream. I swear if it's the ramen. I think I think the the self the note to self for ramen is gonna make me it's gonna make me want to end stream. <laughs> this is what it's eight in a row already. Oh my gosh! Yes, it is. Oh my gosh! It's eight in a row for this. So we'll start. Um, we will start the the cat parade. Honestly, that mascot's very creepy. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. You've all made it to the main event of the night. The rest of the night market. All filler designed to waste your time until we can start the main event. Ha <laughs> ha Hesitant applause. I feel so fortunate to be accompanied by these incredible, amazing kids for tonight's parade. Don't embarrass me, you dorks. So without further ado, who is pumped for the parade? I cannot be more pumped. I am also of the pumped persuasion. Then let's do this. I don't remember what to do for this. Get ready, kiddos. Just follow my lead and don't fall out of line. Onward, ho. So face left, face right, and play is enter. Okay. Look at me. Such a beautiful recorder player. Did any of you guys learn how to play recorder in elementary school? Because I definitely did. Ooh, gotta focus, gotta focus, gotta focus. Gonna. Oh, we're moving again. Because I remember I learned recorder in elementary school, and I like think that's what got me wanting to be in band because I was like really into it. I was in a recorder playing club. It was, it was, uh, it was a thing. Oh gosh, we're getting out of line. Ah. And I, like I said, I got really into it and I think that is what made me want to, to do a lot of band stuff. And um, that's why I also got really into to band whenever I did do that. Like it was eight years of my life and I, I will tell you, I spent so much time, um, I spent so much time practicing, it's actually ridiculous. 
<laughs> Zach's actually like crazy ridiculous because I do not do anything with clarinet anymore. Like, after I graduated high school, I stopped. Maybe, like, I, I did play on and off for a year in college just for fun, right? But nothing serious, like, anymore. I was just like, okay. But thinking back on it, like, my, my pan director was so into it. And she was like, you need to do this. Like, you need to, like, be so dedicated and stuff. And I was like, okay, yes, ma'am. Nope. Maybe at the time, because, like, it was it was their life. Like, we had competitions and stuff. But, but now, like, looking back, like, I loved it. But, oh, I remember in summer, I'd spend, like, basically all day at school because we'd have to learn stuff for marching band and such. And it was, it was, uh, it was a time. Honestly, I don't regret it. I loved it. I loved it being at it sounds weird i love being at school during summer because no one was there and yeah we have like two hours of of marching band rehearsal in the morning and then like like you know sectionals like an hour of sectionals during the day and like another two hours at night but whenever we weren't in there it was literally just chilling with your friends at school while there was no like no schoolwork, no other like groups taking up the courtyard or anything like that and i i loved it it was honestly quite a vibe. Bum, bum, bum. Let's do this. And play. Also, I do like how they have a cat as a drummer. Stop. When is your bedtime? Whenever I feel like going to sleep. Because honestly, it probably will not be until like midnight tonight. Knowing me, because I will get very distracted and stuff. Guys, gotta realize. I'm 25. I am not young like you guys are. There is no one dictating my bedtime. If I screw it up, if I make my absolute sleep schedule absolute shit, it's all me and I will never regret it. I will just fill myself full of coffee and smile through the day and then just, I don't know, honestly just vibe to like Genji. Let's be honest. I will like low key regret and be like, why did I do this? But I will just take a nap as soon as I get back and then stay up again. We made it, kids. It wasn't terrible. Anywho, another successful night market in the books. Don't forget to come back next week for more surprises. Go. Leave. We're done here. The trophy will be delivered to your home. We got another trophy. Look at that. Look at that agent. So diligent. Due diligence right there where it is due. Hello, good father. Um... I don't even know what I'm saying, but we are ending. We are ending the day. We are going into fall, I believe. Ow, I just, I just hit my elbow again. I need to stop doing that. Again, I move way too much. Woo! We're in autumn. And that's a good... Okay, let, let me not have my VTuber glitch yet. But that is a good stopping point for now. Um, I will definitely... Definitely try to do that. So we will... Um, I think it, if I do... No. If I do journal, if I do options, bam, we do return to main menu, quit and return to main menu, here we go. Then we are going to find my mouse on this magical little uh, monitor that I call my Roku TV. And we are back here. Hello, everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, we are done for today. I will be live again, like I said. Um, I will be live again with Mineko's Night Market again tomorrow to make up for Friday's nap that I that I did. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not already, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like on my stream if you are on YouTube and help us reach 250 followers on YouTube. If you are on Twitch, I'd very much appreciate it if you could be the lovely, lovely, lovely four people to help us finally reach our goal of 60 whole followers. If you're on either platform and feel generous enough to follow on both you'd be an absolute savior but yeah guys as always i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening wherever you guys are and i will see you tomorrow on monday at 8 30 p.m central standard